Here's your burger, sir. Thank you. Sir, I need another dollar twenty-five. Is that right? Keep the change. Roadhouse. Oh, hell yeah, it's Roadhouse. That's right, I watched Roadhouse with Jake Gyllenhaal and Conor McGregor, and I'm here to talk a little bit about it. And besides just giving my review, I think I'm just going to give you a little bit of context around it, because Roadhouse is what you make of it. You're either going to love it, you're going to hate it. You're going to think it's the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen. I mean, it's kind of up to you. It's your interpretation. Critical Drinker hates it because it doesn't make a lot of sense, which is fine. But then, you know, Charlie from Voice Critical is like, it's a solid movie. It's hysterical. It's a lot of laughs. You're going to enjoy it. And um, if you check your brain at the door, I promise you're going to like it. Jake Gyllenhaal is great in it. Conor McGregor is a hoot. I'm not going to say it's the most uh, sensical movie I've ever seen. Uh, but there's definitely a little bit of controversy around it. Let's check it out. Let's get into it. In the meantime, before we get started, like and subscribe. I would appreciate that. I am the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You. And uh, let's get into it because Roadhouse is a movie. That I've never seen. I don't have no context for 1989 Roadhouse. I have no idea what's going on. It just depends on how much you like Patrick Swayze. Roadhouse. With 50,000 views or reviews, it's 67%. The critics clearly hate it. Why have only 45 critics reviewed it? It's like a cult classic that I've never seen. In fact, the cover of that looks like CGI. Let's look at the new Roadhouse, the 2024 Roadhouse. Jake Gyllenhaal and Conor McGregor doing a little bit better. Well, sort of, but not really. 60% on the critic side, 162 critics watching it. 1,000 on the audience side, 56%. I mean, come on. It's, the movie tells you right from the beginning that it doesn't make any that much sense. Post Malone is a fighter who's tubby and overweight, and he's just a great fighter. But when Jake Gyllenhaal shows up, his his name and presence alone, nope, not fighting him. This is a fix. I'm not doing it. Not going to fight this guy. I'm getting out of here. Give him the 500 bucks. And then as he walks out, because no one would fight him, he gets stabbed, and he's like, are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> I mean, he doesn't do anything. He gets stabbed and doesn't do anything about it. It's hilarious. So, uh, this is not the real world. Jake Gyllenhaal is some sort of, like, super soldier that we've never met before. And that's the point. The movie is not amazing. Uh, some of the characters, you're barely going to remember who they are. If you remember Danielle Malkir from Such Things as Suicide Squad, where she played Ratcatcher... She's got about as much charisma as that, where she's catching rats. And in this, I guess she's also catching rats. Strange film. But again, if you're looking for some dumb fun, it's so bad, it's good, maybe. I don't know. Let's take a look. How does it compare to the cult classic? That's a question people asked. And as someone who's never seen the cult classic, I'm going to read this article and tell you. Uh, apparently there's throat ripping in, in the classic Roadhouse. Did not know that. That you could just rip out throats. I guess that's a thing. Um, apparently Swayze's character is also called Dalton. And they're both hired to clean up rowdy bars. I mean, there's no bar on earth like this. This is <laughs> the bands. There's, there's a lot of live music in this. And the, and the bands are behind like chicken wire fence so that if people throw beers at them it just bl explodes kind of like the blues brothers i guess that's a thing in the south i have no idea man uh this is supposed to be in the florida keys instead of uh missouri but what's the same and what's different i i don't know general premise is the same and uh, there's the same line. I get no one ever wins in a fight. I don't know, man. This is pretty crazy. I, 
It seemed like a throwback movie. I mean, the one guy, I'm good, this is as far as spoilers I'm going to get. Somebody gets fed to a hungry crocodile. I won't tell you who it is. It was pretty wild. I remember when this 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 was getting filmed during an actual UFC fight. And and it seems like the fight itself there was only a couple of like it doesn't go for very long because there's a flying knee and and some punches, but let's keep going. Here's one of the big things that was interesting about this that I didn't I knew about it, but I didn't know why. And there's like rumors of AI finishing the film, and there, there's some other stuff that I couldn't exactly pin down. But I do know that it was a, a very highly contested deal. I guess they had actually filmed this in 2021 or 2022. Uh, they started in 2021, and they negotiated with, with Doug Lyman. And I'll get into who Doug Lyman is. And when Amazon bought MGM in 2022, they were like, oh, baby, we're going to make this an Amazon Prime movie. And the choice was you either you make the film for $60 million and get a theatrical release or, we'll, or you get $85 million and go streaming only. And they took the money. That's the story. They took the money. Well, somebody wasn't happy with the money. Because there's, you know, there's fighting between producers and and all sorts of stuff. Well, Doug Lyman, the director, who you may know from such films as, he's a big Tom Cruise fan. I'll tell you what, he did Edge of Tomorrow, Swingers. Uh, what else is he? He's done a lot of stuff that you've heard of. What did he direct? Previous directing, he did uh, Jason Bourne, Edge of Tomorrow. I just want my pants back. I, I've never heard of that. He did Knight Rider, the TV series from 2008 to 2009. 18 episodes of it. He did Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the Bourne Ultimatum. So he he's not... Look, I like the Edge of Tomorrow. I think he's a pretty good director. He did The Recruit, the TV series that did pretty good. So I think he knows what he's talking about. He did some suits, apparently. He did 132 episodes of suits. This guy is no slouch. He knows what he's doing. And Tom Cruise likes him, so he must clearly know something about making a film or two, right? Well, he penned an open letter about... but He boycotted uh, South by Southwest premiere of the Jake Gyllenhaal film... And Jake Gyllenhaal has been promoting it, and he went full nuclear and uh, was, won't support the movie. And I don't understand why. I mean, I didn't read his whole article here, but he's he's like the movie may <laughs> the movie is fantastic, maybe my best. I'm not gonna say I agree with that, uh, but he will not be there because they won't let him take it to the big screen. It was made for the big screen, and it won't go. Bro, you took the money. You took the money. I hate to say it, and I know there's other partners that you didn't agree with, but you took the money. Would you watch this on the big screen? Would you have paid a good solid whatever you paid? Well, you watched it on Amazon if you did. Again, I try to be no spoilers here. Would you pay for this? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it depends on what I heard about it, right? That's the tricky part. It's definitely it's worth watching on a streamer. I don't know if it's worth watching anywhere else. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Again, like I said, what's my grade? 10 out of 10, baby. All the way, it's a 10 out of 10. It's the greatest film I've ever seen. It doesn't matter if you don't like it. It's 10 out of 10. Eh, maybe it's like a 75 or, or like a C+. Plus. C, it's a solid C+. 10 out of 10. You heard it here first. In the meantime, check out our full podcast. You can catch that on iTunes. We also live stream here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's on Friday nights. You'll uh, come have fun with us there. You can join the channel as well. You can catch us on Rumble. Do all sorts of things. We also have a second channel just for clips from the show. If you want to not watch the whole show, but you want to catch the clips, we have a clip show. It's called uh, Orcu Clips. Check that out as well. Uh, I'll link it somewhere. 
perhaps, maybe. Either way, thank you for listening. Like and subscribe. I do love all y'all, but I am on to the next one. Thank you.